and we are going to be working on tonight um, some bouquets. And so let's get ready. Let's get I'm together and show you how to do one of these little ribbon roses. And all I do is I take a hot glue gun, I take the end of the ribbon, and I make a point on it, just like this. Anyway, we got a point going on here, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that point and we're going to twist it kind of once or twice, and it's going to become the center of my flower. Do you see that? Like that? I'm going to put a little hot glue in there, okay, just to hold it together. And then I'm going to take this working end of my ribbon, I'm going to start twisting it. I'm going to twist it a couple times, and in the beginning I like it to be really, really tight, okay? All right, so um, let's see what's going on here. All right, so all you do is you put a little dab of hot glue. As you're twisting, the hot glue holds the ribbon in place and you're gonna twist it and glue it all the way around. And in the beginning, you want it really, really tight so that it looks like the inside of a flower. couple more twists and we'll be done with this one okay it'll the more you get um, toward the outer part of the rose the more you let up on it you don't twist it real 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 tight you know what I'm saying you just so I'm gonna just go ahead snip that off I'm gonna twist it right here at the end like this then I'm going to take this little tail here. Oh my. All right. Here we go, guys. And I'm just going to put a dot of glue at the bottom, like you saw me do there. And just secure it onto the bottom. I'm going to take and snip this off. Um, this might be uh, sold as a um, junior bride or junior bridesmaids. Um, because it's small, but I've got a bigger one. I'm gonna show you how I did this, okay? Um, I started with a foam ball, okay? Just a plain foam ball. I took my turkey carver and I cut about a third of it. We're gonna do a totally dazzled version with rose gold and it's gonna be stunning. Now what I did was I just took some of this craft bond spray adhesive, okay? I took that. And I just gave this thing a good sticky surface for the fabric that I'm going to put on here to stick to. Okay, now my fabric, my fabric is this right here. Okay, here's the deal. It's not going to be real sticky, but it is going to be sticky. Now, um, I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on this, but what I'm going to use initially to fasten this and this isn't going to go all the way to the bottom all the way around because it doesn't need to be it's going to be stuck see how sticky that was it's going to be stuck inside of that vessel but i've got these little picks you get these at your craft store in the floral department that they're like they look like a u-shape or a, like a horseshoe um a horseshoe what am i trying to say like a croquet you know like a croquet that's what that looks like, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing the, the side up here. And you just push this right through and it secures it. See that? So I'm going to take these, what I have left, left of them. And now I kind of found the center. You know, I put a hole through the center so it kind of gives me a guide. Um, when I took it and sprayed it in my garbage can outside, <laughs> I just put it on a little on a little skewer and I sprayed the sticky on it and um, and we're good to go. Okay, got the two sides, switch it around and you're just gonna... Okay, now I've got these little butterflies <laughs> all, all in a row here. So now I can play with it a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull it on this side, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's pleated, but you can kind of see how it's stuck to the styrofoam now. You can see. Ah, it doubled over. Hold on. 
Now, I've got a little hammer here that I used earlier that it really does help if you just take a little hammer and tap it in. Like that. It gives you it gives you a good start. You have to just put a bunch. See that? That's the color it was. I made it white. But you just have to put a bunch of hot glue in here so that when it touches the side, okay, I'm just going to set her down in there just like that and say a little prayer. I'm going to go down inside those spots that are open and vacant and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it all the hot glue right that it'll take so what I did was that to this okay however this is a, a handle that I purchased at uh, Joanne's Michael somewhere I've had it in my stash um, you know, because that's what I do. I do, you know, bridal florals and things like that. So what I did was I just made a um, an imprint and I pushed it down into the foam, took it out, put um, E6000 down in there, and then on this part, I put hot glue so that the hot glue kind of melted the, the um, foam and the E6000 is down in there really, really deep. And so we got both holding them. This I did this earlier today. So it's it's on there securely now. Okay, then for this little bottom part, this little cutie, cutie bottom part, all I did was I took this ribbon, okay, and I cut four and a half inches of, of it, folded it in half, hot glued it, and then placed each four and a half inch ribbon along the bottom you see how that looks and all i did was i overlapped each each one of these that i made there's an extra one i had i took each one of these four and a half inch ribbons folded it in half put some hot glue around the perimeter and added it right here okay simple 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 now what you do from here because you want to cover this right i've decided i am going to cover this with the ribbon well do I need yeah I'm gonna do it with the ribbon too I'm gonna cover it with ribbon I don't need that one <laughs> and um, bling wrap totally dazzled rose gold bling wrap I think it'll be really pretty okay and I like to heat seal my ends so that it doesn't fray. Just like that, okay, get it started. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the base, start at the base, and I'm gonna add some hot glue to get it going. Just like that. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm going to add hot glue to the end of the ribbon and secure it. So what we are going to do, I know this sounds backwards, but trust me on this, it's not. Um, there's an area of this cute little mushroom that is a little bit shorter. You, you would think it would be centered. It's not. This part here is a little bit shorter. The reason being is you want the back to be like a little tutu and you want the front to have a little short spot because that's where you're going to put the bow, you know? You're going to put the little bow there. So it doesn't matter if there's a little short spot and that's fine. So what I'm going to do to make that bow, and the reason I'm putting the bow on there first is because um, I don't want to put a brooch somewhere where the bow is supposed to be. And mess that part up right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take fold it in half take this end bring it a little past the half point take this end bring it past the half point I'm gonna make a little bow right in the center 
I'm gonna tie it off with some jute twine because you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that jute twine. It's gonna be cute. Okay, so that part's gonna go on the short, where the little skirt is a little bit short. It's gonna get put right there. But also in the middle of it, I've got these. They come on a roll at Hobby Lab. We're gonna put one of these right in the middle of the bow. One on is this beautiful bow with a little pearl. And I think if this was for a junior bridesmaid or flower girl or um, a junior bride, I think that that would be really, really pretty for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little E6000, cause this is heavy-ish, you know. I'm gonna put a little bit of E6000 in the center and hot glue these sides and just put it right in the middle of this. I think it'll be really pretty. Look at how cute, isn't that sweet? Already, right? Okay, so that goes right here. Okay, look at this. Oh, it's the perfect length. Of course it is, it's right where it needs to be. Yes, indeed. I love this stuff, it is so pretty. Now I see, I'm gonna put a bead of hot glue right down the center here. Just like that. And I am going to try <laughs> and get this straight. It's got to be straight, y'all. Trim off some of the excess with this. Okay, and I know so which we have. All right. Will there be enough room for hand? Yep. I kind of like that. Kind of. Because if you put it up too high, it's going to uh, cover up more. Let's try that. Let's give that a whirl. All right, so this is what we got so far. All right, now I've got these little ribbon rosettes. And I'm gonna put five of them going in different positions around this thing um, with hot glue, just some hot glue. I'm gonna try to space them out nicely. We're gonna put the, we are gonna put the totally dazzled around it. So we gotta leave room for that, right? I'm gonna make sure I've got my totally dazzle bling here, sorta of picked out, sorta of, kinda. Um, I got three of these bad boys, three of these drawers. Um, I don't need this one because I'm not using crowns and I'm not gonna use another bow because I already used the bow in the front here. So there's that. Okay, so got that one on. I'm just gonna go around here and start adding. Um, However, I'm gonna put it on with E6000 and hot glue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the E6000 around the middle and then the hot glue at the edge. All right, so I'm just gonna go around this thing and start adding the bling. <laughs> and the bling on the thing. How sweet. See that? Isn't that pretty? Look at that bling, y'all. Is that crazy or what? That's like crazy bling. Oh my, look at the sparkle and the shine, kids. Oh my goodness gracious. Here comes the bride. All dressed in rose gold. Yeah. And I'm gonna quickly show you this other one over here that we were gonna do. Okay, so this one, I, you know, I put a lot of hot glue in this. It ain't going anywhere now. It's on there, but good. Okay, so here's the here's what I was thinking for this. 
I have some more of this on a, on a strand, right? I'm gonna put this all the way around this, okay? <clears throat> However, I have an applique here. Look at this bad boy. Oh, look at this. It just seemed like it fit there. Look at that. Is that not stunning? That's what's gonna happen there. <laughs> That's gonna go right there. And these are gonna go all the way around this base. Starting with this one. Got you. I think that's pretty already, just like that, okay? But we need bling. Where's the pretty part? Because this is what's gonna face forward, right? All right, I'm gonna take and add some E6000 down the center, just kind of like what I've been doing, right? Right down the center. And the hot glue. Can you see this coming down the aisle? Right? At the end. But we're just gonna bling this bad boy up. We're gonna bling. Two for the price of one, baby. Look at that. Aren't those stunning? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and grab our free download, 50 Ways to Bling Out Your Wedding. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.